20 years, 20, 23 years old. And I sometimes wonder why I'm so terrible at speaking proper English. I, if, I sometimes wonder if another 23 year old feel quite as old as I do. Okay, I can proper English now. I'm only 23. I try to reassure myself. I still have my whole life ahead of me. Get a good career. I have achieved things in my life. Like a proper main character in any good mom does. Even if it kills me. I just want to succeed. You have to surpass your limits. Even if someone's essentially putting you in death or life situation. Why did I bite that? That thing is super true. I have to look. I have a lot to look forward to. I've barely taken f my f first few steps. Do you see? In school, English was not my strong suit. I'd always fail. That's why. I'm so depressed right now. Watch out from the top again. I have a lot to look forward to. I've barely taken my first steps into adulthood. There's no time to get depressed now. But no matter what, I tell myself. No matter what I tell myself, it never sticks. Sometimes those words help me get to sleep at night. But then they seem partially hollow, empty, when I'm at charm school. There are those students who are five years younger. Full of 19 year olds sprinkled in there. Like a good filet sauce. I don't know who in the god's name would sprinkle filet sauce on anything with it. I don't even know what filet sauce is. Even my teacher miss. Oh no, I'm gonna butcher this. Even my teacher miss Sonsiki. Sonsiki. Sasuke. Miss. Son Zaki. Miss Son Zaki. Books to be around 25 or 36. Tw 26, sorry. Uh, now that's a grim thought. I must be close in the age to my teacher. That I am my class. That I am my classmates. Not that they really like my classmates. Charm school doesn't feel like a real, real school either. It's a place where failures and dropouts go so they can relearn all the things they should have learned back in high school. We didn't cover any material. We just rehearsed everything that we taught in the past over and over on a loop. Forever. He's like, and around circles, swallowing my own tail with each step. Like, oh, 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 oh,
scared of my own language. Ouroboros. Yes, it's... It's clearly... As I said, clearly correctly the first time. Ouroboros. Yes, it is Ouroboros. I said it twice. That was not Google Translate. Not because I'm shit at my own language. I've only been in the city for around a few weeks, and I'm already exhausted. It's not that I don't know the words, it's that I can't pronounce them. It's why, it's why constantly in school they had me in a special room where I had to constantly read out loud because one of my worst skills in life is reading out loud. I can explain what's on it, but I can't read what it says out loud. Paradoxically, why are they putting such paradoxically words in this days here are less packed than they were when I lived out in the countryside. Other than charm school, my days are almost depressingly empty. I get up in the morning, brush my teeth, put on my clothes. I catch the train to charm school. Then I sit at my desk for hours reading a textbook, answering We have a lot of practice exam papers to work through, so there's always something to study for. Though the exams themselves are eight months away. I'm done with school. I'm gonna take the train back home, and then while while my time away until the night finally falls. And then I, I'll while my, while my time away until the night finally falls. There are too many hours in the evening. I just don't know how to fill them. My classmates look like they've led fun, exciting lives. But I just, I bet that's why they failed their university exams. <laughs> The first time around, they're too busy going to bars, karaoke, or arcades, even though arcades don't exist anymore. Especially now that Sega's sold out. Nobody invented me. Nobody invited me to the bar. That's why they never invited me because I'm too good. I'm too old. Perhaps I could have had a painless time if I had told a few white lies when Miss Sonesky 
asked us to introduce ourselves during our first day at school, but I didn't. Damn it, I misclicked. Now, back. I confessed my real age to my class. I wanted them to know right off the bat that my name is... I'll try pronouncing it one time. One time, if I get it wrong, I will make Google Translate always pronounce these names. same way. I'm 23 years old. I might be a bit older than the rest of you. Try a lot. But I hope we can all get along in the future. <laughs> Star. As if. I think I could have made a few friends if I kept my shameful secret under wraps. I mean, it's not like I look at myself much older than everyone else, but... It's too late now. The cat's already out of the bag. My classmates don't want to associate with me. Or you just don't associate with them. You're overthinking it. No fuck's gonna give a shit if you're fucking 25. They don't even want to look at me. Maybe it's just because I'm always looking at their penises. I can't blame them either. Because I'm always looking at them. I'm only 23. I, 23? That's even less than I thought it was. I'm only 23 and I feel positively ancient. How can the world be my oyster? I asked. I've never had the opportunity to cast out my net. Now I'm afraid. I'll never get the chance. Oh god, it's flaming the bat black. Oh god, it's consuming. I'm 23. I'm just 23. I'm already, already 23. It's so bad that I'm 23 that everything is fading to black and consuming me. Isn't that old enough already? But my pro protests are all in vain. The time continues to tick away. I sigh as I walk down the street, my hands firmly planted in my pockets. Today was yet another day at charm school. It was just a dull and un uneventful as the last. I might be living in the heart of Japan now, but I feel lonelier than I did back in Amori. At least back in the sticks, I had my parents and my grandma. 
my grandmother, and a few times I had aunts and uncles to help talk to. I had friends too. I had Jeremy and Maya and Charles. They were my favorite, favorite polos, man. They were my best friends. I had f until they flew the coop. I can't believe my polos just spread their wings and flew at my window. It's it's like that one scene from an anime I don't want to mention because I'm ashamed of watching it. Still, even after it, they cleared off, I wasn't entirely on my own. I knew everyone who stopped by my family. It's an old-fashioned candy store, and people used to talk to me as I counted out their change. People weren't above smiling, laughing, and telling jokes in a... Amori. I'm butchering that name, probably. Even with a loser like me, it's different now. I knew the city would be difficult, and of course, but I'd always imagine in my naive, or maybe I could call optimis optimism, that it would be different in a positive way. I never believed, not in my wildest dreams, or my wettest, that it feels so isolated while living in the fr fridge of the best. Isolate while living in the fridge of the best city in the world, biggest city in the world. Fringe, fringe, not fridge. <laughs> oh my god. Tokyo is a frightening place, and I can't believe they gave me a girl instead of a fridge. You know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Life's full of surprises. Sally, there's not always pleasant surprises. Ha! My footsteps f Wait, that wasn't me. <sighs> My footsteps fell against the dull gray pavement with a series of dull gray turds. Duds. Everything dull, everything gray, and a rundown part of... Words. Ka Kawagi Skiki. The highest rise buildings, which did not raise quite as high as those twenty minutes down the. To uh, I may be a weed weeb, but I cannot pronounce. Japanese words I haven't seen before. Because their names are parts of towns and cities. Togito Takedo. Takedo line. The sidewalk, which is fringed by the curb and lined with street lamps. Even the sky, which looks grim and dark and downcast, utterly miserable. I wonder if it's going to rain. I sure hope not. Because I'm wearing white today. And I forgot the underwear. I should hurry. I passed the gate of small ground. I passed the gate of a small playground. Driven by a single mind desire to get inside the heavens. <laughs> Before the heavens unleash their load on my angst unexpecting head. Jesus, you fucking bastard, you're making it rain right now the whole time, man. Not here, it's not here. It's not here either. Hmm? Now would, what could that be? Where is it? Where did it go? Where is it? <laughs> I don't have a good feminine voice. Where did it go? Where did it go? I can't see the speaker, but the vo her voice sounds breathly and highly pitched. Their phonetic words are choked with tears, and obviously they're on upset. If I had a hazard, hazard, I guess, 
I would say a voice belongs to a little kid, meaning little kid. I mean, why else would there be a, who else would there be in a playground? Well, you see, there's a thing called pedos. And you see, there's also a thing called kidnappers. And you see, what those two have in common is they both really like candy and white bands. Yes, that's the connection I was making. I wonder what happens. I open the low, low metal gate with par parts with creak and glance around. The playground is fairly nondescript. Script, much like everywhere else around these parts. I can see a few swings and slides, but they're rusty with age, just like the gate. It's all very typical. Standard. Uninteresting. Well, what else would there be here? A portal into another dimension? Or Tracoon coming through the freaking wall, running me over? Oh, what's that beeping sound? There is, however, a young girl. This girl is crouched on the ground by the swings. Her hair is short and dark, and her eyes are filled with tears. I don't make the habit of talking to young kids, but something about her looks vaguely familiar. I wonder why. Mama, Mama told me not to go inside. She have listened. She... Hiccups. Her shoulders tremble. It looks like she's crying. Is there anything I could do to help her? Um, excuse me? Oh! Little girl jumps at my introduction. Timid though, it seems she must have been sobbing so much that she didn't hear the gate creeping, creaking, or my approaching footsteps. You know, this kid would really probably... Probably fall over. Seems like the kind of kid that would chase after some candy and white bands. Because we all know that in those vans, they're just candy stores. The van the white vans are just candy stores. They give them free samples. Yeah. The little girl jumps at my introduction. Hit it though. Sniffling frenetically, she's trying to suck her snot back up in her nostrils. She wants to get wipes from her eyes, the back of her mind. I must be with her. 
sorry. Why are you sorry? It's not your fault. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you're right. How long have you been looking for a key? I don't know, forever. The little girl looks at me earnestly. Her eyes white. The man that suggested my own bed for her. Knowing how the kids are. I decided to her on the side of caution. Mitsuki Mitsuki Like the actress? That's a pretty name Why do you think so? She doesn't know how much I despise that name At least a girl would make a wise crack about how they Like the actress scraps for years not since my pillows grew wings and flew away my only friends so sad to see them go I also had nothing to cling to it sure I'll be your friend yeah. yay thanks Misaki
almost said lad because I've watched the uh, uh, silent voice movie, a silent voice anime movie. I watched it. <laughs> I don't know why I just said scene with, with him calling her a, a young lad. <laughs> he got stuck in my head. Oh, it's not here either. I sign, straighten up, wiping my hands on my pants. Because I'm a total diva. Are you sure you dropped the key in the playground, Tama? That's right. I'll... That's right, at least I think I did. I don't know. One second I had it, and the next it was gone. And was one last time you saw your key? I... Um, I... Tama. Rose. Rouse creases. She shifts. Shifts from foot to foot. Her little fingers clenched at her front. Is she trying to remember those sh through sheer force of will? See that? The most legendary of heroes. Horsey. Memories. I guess that's kind of admirable in a way. But I don't know. I, but I don't want her to overexert herself. I don't know. When I last had it, the lock was on my top. Keep it on me. Then, then, I don't know anything. The secrets. Tama doesn't want to go out. She's like, yeah. She chases you. She the call could have fallen. Tama was remarkable. He missed it. While she was examining cute and colorful snacks lined up in the shelves inside. We've been searching the playground, leaving no pebble on turn. Three times smaller than the key. In the last half an hour or so. But we haven't made any progress. Thomas Key continues to elude us no matter how hard we search. My knees and my palms are dirty from kneeling on the ground, and the sky looks grayer and Steelier than even ever, even ever before. It's a blatant, unlucky-looking sky, thick with heavy clouds, which says it's not no uncertain terms. A cold wind rushes through the small playground. Rustled stick swings, sets creak ominously in the. Roundabouts turn a few degrees. Yes, I measured them. They turned exactly 180 degrees. Which is a complete turnaround. The full screech of me medieval torture. I shiver and adjust the strap on my messenger, so messenger bag over my shoulder. This isn't looking so good. Oh no. I'm never gonna find my key, Whiskey. I'm gonna be stuck in the playground forever. If mommy comes home, I'll stay inside the playground all night. Hold you, Whiskey. I'm gonna go home. Too delicate of a word to describe the full blown fit. Her face is red, and around tear size hundred yen coins drip down her cheeks. Yes, that's right, I know how to say yen. Hey, Tama, look, look at the sobbing girl, her tiny bunny hunched in, in on itself with trepidation. I want to comfort her, but I don't know what if, what to do. We're still virtual strangers, and I don't want to make her feel uncomfortable. I shiver. Overhead, the sky dra darkens. The clouds look thicker than ever. We any second now, it's going to. Ah! <laughs> yes, when I get rain on me, I'm very much femininely going. Ah! 
Tama snuffles and wipes her arms around her, around her middle. Wraps her arms around her middle. It's cold. My clothes are gonna get wet. I don't like the rain. I don't think anybody likes the rain unless you like a tree. Bro. Bro. I am, I am totally like a tree. I McDonald's special sauce <laughs> screaming, I'm going to become a tree now. <laughs> I just started laughing because of <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I never knew trees got screwed. screwed. I don't think anybody likes the rain unless you're a tree. Maybe a lazy, apathetic teenager who really, really does not want to take part in their school and those sports festival. I've been there myself. I used to pray the rain before the big sports events every year. It was kind of like a decision. Though I lived out in the countryside during formal years and I'd never been that big athlete. It was the cause of my build to be like a condition. Speaking of which, if I leave Tom on the rain too long, the condition is going to take a sh severe bathroom. She's only a little kid. The kids catch colds easier than adults. It's not true. Old people do it too. The little old people, they're like babies. Sure, they be quiet. You know, they're basically the same thing. I don't want her getting sick. We'll probably keep raining for a while. I guess I should have, I should have stopped looking for your key. I guess we should stop looking for your key. We can't keep it up in the weather. This weather. Does that mean you're in? Does that mean you're really bad in English? Cause you can't say a simple sentence the first time. And does that mean you're going to leave me out here? I thought we were friends. Maybe. Of course I'm not going to be bad in your city. I got heartless. But don't, why don't you come and wait in my apartment for a bit? You can stay with me until the rain lets up. Or until your mother comes back. What do you think? Ooh, ooh is that really okay? Of course, just never make that sound again, or you're going to be burned alive. It's totally fine. Just don't ever do it again. I will... You will never... You will not have a good time. What about... Oh, well... What, what about it? Do you want to come up with me? Um, rehearse. What about it? Do you, 
Do you want to come with me? Oh, well, if it's all right, then I'd like that. Like, I'm a total thing. I don't have to do it with strangers, but you got to change your life. You know, right? Thank you, Mr. King. How damn of a child do you need to be? Like, oh, he knows my name. We're friends now. Does it matter? Look, we can be friends. Hey, Mitsuki, you're hurting me. I know that. Then why don't you be more careful, you big dummy? I mean, you big baka. Baka. You big baka. I recall the words that my mother told me once years ago when I was Tama's age. I was squirming in her lap just as much as Tama's mine. One di big difference between her squ squirming in your lap and squirming in your mother's. One really big difference. Actually, there's two. One, you will be released. Two. Which is a 
plus. She keeps loose and warm like a fish. Wrinkle it like a fish. Like a fish. Which makes it hard. You bully. She screeks and kicks her feet, tries to squirm over her way out of my off my lap. I gotta say that's truly an uncomfortable agreement. Man, I wish I had a coach. This apartment came more or less unfinished. I haven't gotten around to decorating it just yet. I did buy a cheap boxy TV from a nearby pawn shop. But that's more because I felt sorry for the elderly store owner than because I wanted it. I'm not not a good. T it's not a good TV. That's what you can expect for 2,000 yen. But it gets the job done. It stops me from. Pulls my hair a lot when she presses. You're tender. 
billion times worse. I haven't had practice, any practice. So you shouldn't put your hands on my head. I'm not doing it because I want to. I'm doing it because I'm trying to keep you dry in my apartment too. It's not like there's anything that matters. Your apartment's ugly anyway. It's just like your mom. on the walls and shelves and lots of cats. Cats. I thought the landlord didn't allow cats. We have a calendar on the wall with cat photos. Mama lets me turn each page at the start of every month. I see. Your apartment does sound a lot nicer than mine. being a brat, this will be over before you know it. Well, Maski, I thought you were my friend. Tama, Aqua, Pete, Wales, Bill, the poor. I'm worried that the neighbors will over here and file some kind of complaint. I don't want the neighbors to hate me. I guess I'd better finish trying Tama's hair. Toronto. Her hair is pretty short, but it's quite thick. It takes a while to clean. Matters worse, she's asked me to use it. Sit still. I hope I can finish this torch. Both of us. I'm not sure which one of us is going to snap first. Hey, Tama, are you still mad at me? Hmph. <laughs> Tama turns her back to me, eyes narrowed. The little brat is busy staring at my small tel box TV, which is. Turned on to stop her whining. I thought it was a pretty intricate plan, but it might have been a little too effective. Tom was so blue to the TV she hasn't even glared at me, let alone spoken to me in the last five minutes. The TV show, whatever it is, must be really engrossing. Either that or she hates me so much that she can't stand to be in the same room with me. So much for being friends.
This is at least enough to unstick Tumble's tongue. She faces me, smirking wrinkly, and says, I think you're one, the one who needs somebody to look out for you. Ah! I'm a burning. What was that? The room is so small and dirty, it's gross. And so are you. Oh my god. Me 
save it. And yes, I've played this game before, but it, for some reason the game just didn't comprehend the fact that I played the game and I couldn't get the video from it. And the video was just the screen. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. It's pretty.
pretty late, and I do want to watch One Piece, and I also want to relax. So I'm tired. I'm very tired, especially from the turkey. Because turkeys have chemicals in them that make you fucking lazy. And that's a fact. It's a fact as the fact that my controller's magnetic. And I love it. I love the fact that my controller's magnetic. Because I can just go and click things into it. There we go. Clicked in. Anyway.